charge and then we'll thank you. Good. Well, wonderful to see everyone, um, depending on time zone and um, welcome. Let's have introductions. Uh, your, please give your name, of course it's there, but uh, country and uh, organization and um, briefly as possible so that we can have enough time for the rest of the discussion. Thank you. Um, I'll, I'll invite you in as I see you on my screen. Uh, Karen, and please unmute yourselves when you talk. Thank you. Um, Karen Utas Karlsson, Sweden, Women for Peace. Thank you. Uh, I'm Nancy Price. I'm just seeing going as I see you on my screen. I'm Nancy Price from Davis, California, Wilf US. Thank you. Ula. I'm Ula Kretzer from Finland and from Women for Peace. Uh, Maria. I'm Maria Sotiropoulou from Greece, president of the Greek affiliate of IPPNW and the representative of ICANN in Greece. Thank you. Stephanie. Hello, I'm Stephanie. I'm I'm working for Agir pour la Paix, uh, and I'm in Belgium. <laughs> Thank you, Patricia. I'm Hi. Patricia Sterpetti from Wilf, Italy, from Rome. Uh -huh. Patricia. Uh, okay, that's me then. Uh, I'm uh, in Germany, and I've joined WILPF just currently. And I'm from the Feminist Party of Germany. Mm, thank you. Irmgard. Uh, your, your microphone, Irmgard. Excuse me. No. I'm from Germany too. I'm from Hamburg. And I'm not fine with English. But I can <laughs> listen very good. But I can speak not so good. Uh, that's fine. Thank you. I'm from Woman in Black. Uh, Simri. Hi, uh, Kim Gomery from uh, Montreal for a World Beyond War, Montréal pour un monde sans guerre. Um, I heard about this from Tamara. Very yeah. pleased to be here. Thank you. Daniela. Your microphone, Daniela. Hi, uh, I'm Daniela Penkova. I'm from Bulgaria, from Documentauni Foundation. Thank you. Uh, Ada. Hola, I'm Ada Donno from Italy. I'm AWMR, Association of Women from Mediterranean Region. Uh, Ali. Hello, my name's Ali. I'm located in Ontario, Canada, and I'm the new national coordinator for Canadian Voice of Women for Peace. Thank you. Lisa. Is it, it must be Lisa, no? Yes, it's Lisa. Uh, yes, um, I'm the chief person of the Finnish Communist Party and a uh, member of European led the peace working group, which is the connection uh, to this meeting and, and to this order. Thanks. Thank you. Uh, Catherine. Good morning. I'm on unceded Mi'kmaq territory in Nova Scotia, Canada. I'm a member of Nova Scotia, Voice of Women for Peace, and very happy to be here. Thank you. Thank you. Anna Marie. Yes, uh, good afternoon from me. Uh, I'm working for Pax Christi Flanders in Belgium. Uh, Mary Kuka. Please unmute yourself. Yes, yes, yes. thank you. Hello. <laughs> uh, I'm Mary Kuka from Finland and I'm the vice president of Band Artists for Peace. Mm -hmm. Elena. Hello. 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 I am Lena. Yes. No, no. Who am I? Yes, uh, you're on. We hear you. Okay. 
Uh, I'm Lena Jarlö from, from Sweden, and I am from uh, Women for Peace. Skevi? Yes, I am Skevi from Cyprus, and I am from the Women's Movement, POVO, and Vice President of the Women's International Democratic Federation. Thank you. Thank you. Leah. I'm Leah. I'm the president of the Forum for a Culture of Peace in Switzerland. Hi, everybody. Hello. And Leah Lanaki. Um, I'm Leah Lanaki from Finland. Women for. And uh, let's see, uh, George. Greetings, George Friday from the Southern U.S. and Wilf U.S. Women's International League for Peace and Freedom in the U.S. Uh, Teresa. Yes, I'm driving along. Teresa Alamin, uh, USA, Columbus, Georgia, uh, Wilf U.S. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Tina. I'm Tina Sandberg from Finland. Uh, I'm a uh, general secretary of the Communist Party of Finland, member of the European Left Board, and also uh, trying to organize some resistance against NATO in Finland. Stop NATO Finland. That's me. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, thank, thank you. So uh, did I did I did we hear from everybody? I think we did. Good. Thank you very much. So first, if you um, happen to have the agenda in front of you, um, we're going to have a 20 minute discussion on premises and dates in Brussels. Thank you, George. And um, first, we have a report from Scavey. Um, let's see, Lisa, Tina, about premises in Brussels. Would you like to, uh, who would like to begin, Scavey? Yes, um, as I said, uh, I'm trying to arrange um, the date that should be a week earlier than the 11-12 of July, because so that week uh, the European Parliament is meeting in um, Stras Strasbourg. So one issue is that, and I was trying to find whether it's possible to, to have a room in the European Parliament with English uh, translation only, one language uh, uh, English, and to see whether it's possible uh, to, to arrange uh, uh, the room on behalf of uh, three or four uh, um, uh, maps. Uh, for example, the Cypriot or one of the other um, MPs, maybe the Greek, or uh, Portugal, uh, Belgian, Sp uh, Spanish uh, maps that could uh, support our work. But we have to prepare uh, a letter to them um, explaining of uh, our issue. And I was waiting actually to have the, um, the, the draft document of the, of the work that we are um, going to do have, uh, for example, the, the common statement where, where we could uh, describe what we are going to do and to use this uh, draft document to uh, uh, um, address, uh, approach the, the group of the left in the European Parliament. But uh, we didn't receive the, the document, this uh, common statement, a draft of a, a common statement, and I think we are losing time. Uh, I don't know what happened. Maybe I didn't receive it. Maybe the others uh, uh, got this um, uh, common statement. If I have this common statement that it will be agreed by all of us, then I can work uh, with uh, the Cypriot at least uh, map to, to arrange, to send the letter, to see whether it's possible without uh, paying any money, if we manage to get the room for a, um, uh, conference, a meeting, a discussion uh, in the um, European Parliament. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So we will come to that. Uh, let's see. Because it is uh, uh, one thing is to have the room, and the other thing is to have all the 
facilitation uh, to support uh, and to help us uh, to enter the European Parliament, you know, to, to access the premises, the building of the European Parliament and to go to the room. We need to have some uh, support uh, to do this. Yes, I understand. So, um, so have you been working with anybody else on this, uh, on those, on this so far, or who, who's been working with you on this? Uh, Skavi? Can I, can I come in? Because yes, Lisa Tuskin and Tina Sunbury were also involved in the group for the premises. And, uh, and uh, the, the group for the common statement, which we were supposed actually to go through today, unfortunately we cannot because we haven't got it because we have to get it beforehand, was Mika from South Africa and I haven't heard from her. So I think we cannot make a common statement and send it to the European Parliament before we have accepted it as a group. But has it, Tina it and Lisa mean, any news? There are mm. other pe persons as well uh, that were yeah. responsible for this common statement. Is that do we need to have uh, to make concrete our goals so we can yeah. uh, approach the, the maps or anybody in the European, uh, in the left group actually, not the European Parliament. So uh, we certainly need to set some deadlines on this. Um, I see that uh, Tina's hand is up and, um, and Lisa, uh, Tina, do you have something to add here? Yes, uh, I have uh, sent messages to Etuk, uh, which is the, the great uh, union um, thing, and uh, they uh, haven't responded yet. Uh, but I, I'm thinking about this uh, possibility to meet with uh, inside the European Union, uh, the meeting rooms that we have there in, in the Parliament, uh, and. I think it could be a little bit difficult to uh, arrange if we are planning to have something more open. Uh, if we just are going to invite uh, like among us or something like that, very controlled, uh, then it would be possible. But otherwise it's not easy to organize something inside the parliament because they have very strict uh, rules and pro uh, procedures uh, when you go inside the parliament. Uh, but I think that it could be like part of this uh, weekend, uh, which we are planning now. We could go there and we could have like official meeting with the MIPS inside the, uh, the parliament and then other one uh, outside which would be more open so that we could uh, invite also people who are like last minute uh, raging for us and wanting to uh, participate. Uh, that could be one uh, solution to this. Uh, and I'm uh, certainly going to send you any, any response that I'm going to get from Eduk as soon as possible. But I'm still waiting for that. Yeah, oh, that's all. Good. Good, good, thank you. Uh, Cora. Uh, <clears throat> thank you, uh, Ola. Um, I, I just want to respond to the earlier uh, uh, comment about the statement. Uh, my understanding is that it's not, it's not uh, for purposes of, you know, arranging the venue. My thinking about the statement is something that we all put together. I mean, there is a drafting group uh, that will initially uh, provide the, the initial uh, thoughts on, on the statement, but uh, I, have, I, I did not consider it really that urgent that it has to be uh, given because for purposes of making arrangement with the parliament, and I don't know whether I'm the only one who have that interpretation. Um, but I, 
well, apart from that, I would also like to comment about, uh, you know, uh, if we really want to, to make it an open event, then uh, it will be very difficult to expect the, the, the parliament to, to allow a bigger uh, uh, attendance inside uh, because for those of us who know, uh, you know, how it is, um, there are some, you know, security measures. We have to submit our, you know, information beforehand. So, so I am um, personally, my, my sense is that it has to be something that's open, that's, 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 that's more accessible to more people who would like to attend. So, so maybe we need a small uh, representative group that would uh, go to the parliament. We might uh, discuss that. Nancy, um, could I come in? Yes, please. Yes, I, I think like Cora that the common statement, it's okay if we get the drafting group and we, they can present some kind of draft on the next meeting. The, the, that draft is actually uh, needed for the press and, and for the national governments and for uh, the NATO, to bring it to the NATO if we can. And my suggestion is that if we can get some rooms in, in, in um, the European Parliament, it, it should be on Friday because the parliamentarians are going home for the weekend, I suppose. And that means that we have to have the dates and I come back to that in a moment. And then that we try to get with the help of Tina and Lisa for Saturday and Sunday premises in Brussels from the trade union or then uh, from uh, the, with the help of, of Ludo from Vrede in Belgium who said that there is this demarked and you can see it on the premises and dates. And he said, it's not extremely uh, expensive and I was talking with Rainer Brown from the International Peace Bureau, and he said, maybe if we are lucky, we can get some small financial support for some premises in Brussels. And um, now we have to clear what the prices of the premises in Brussels at the Demarkten. And for that, we would need maybe some persons from Brussels who could contact the, from, from Belgium, who could contact the, the center he is talking about so so that we could have a price for the next meeting um whom do we have today from brussels we have um yes it's me Anna -Marie. Well, yes Anna -Marie. I'm Belgium, not yeah brussels, if you then... yeah if you together with drede and yes. maybe Ria Cariao, i can send you the contacts we have or oh, they are on the list if you could yeah. check I know them, yeah. so uh, you know them, so you don't yeah. even need it. But now the the question, the big question, is the date. Yes. Uh, because you, Skevi, said that the the European Parliament is in Strasbourg. Which week is it? The eleven, twelve. Skevi, you are uh, you you yes. are muted, Skevi. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. <laughs> uh, the week the, uh, of the eleven, twelve. The European Parliament are, is meeting in Strasbourg. So the week earlier, maybe it is um, um, more easy to work on the. Uh, um, just a minute. Do you mean July three or July eight? Um, no, we can have our. If it is on Friday, then it would be seventh of July. And 8th of July, the mobilization, for example. Yes, and, and the, the other webinars and so on. Yeah. Um, one problem is that Emily N from, uh, from Vrede is probably going abroad on the 7th, but we then have to trust on the other uh, Belgium movements and maybe some other person from, 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 um, from Vrede could be available. So shall we now more or less decide that if we have an event in Brussels, it's starting the 7th, 8th and 9th. If somebody is against it, uh, just unmute yourself and say no. <laughs> okay, Nancy, now I leave it to you. 
Yes, well, thank you. Are there any other hands up? I don't, uh, let's see, Anne Marie? Lisa's hand is up. Lisa. Uh, Anne Cora. Marie and then Lisa. I don't know, it was just my phone up. Oh, yes, thank you. I agree with the dates. I see. Uh, yes. So then, uh, Lisa? Yes. Uh, I was asked uh, to join this because of our con uh, contacts and the connection to the European left and its uh, office in Brussels and uh, its uh, peace working group. And on 5th of April, I have sent an email uh, to the <clears throat> coordinators of the peace group, Claudia Hart and Kate Hudson, who is also here in the list of names uh, in the last days, uh, about those who couldn't uh, attend the me meetings, but who are interested. She's a very prominent person in, in, in many organizations and in the peace movement. And, uh, and for the coordinator from the office. But so far, um, explaining this all, and because of the peace group also had then plans to do something in the same way, not in Vilnius because it's difficult, but in Brussels uh, at the same time during the NATO summit. Uh, so I suggested cooperation and also asked the help in, in practical organization. But so far I haven't got any, any answer. And I know that uh, the stuff in, our, in the Brussels office, it's not very many persons and they are very busy, have been very busy doing other things, preparing very many things now, but uh, so I think that I will have to contact again and if, maybe after this, uh, if I get um, information about what we decide, will be decided today. Uh, and I get uh, uh, minutes or something about it, and I can send it and explain once more what, what's going on and where are we now. But we don't have, I, I and we don't have any, any contacts with the European Parliament. Uh, and there I can't help. And, and I think that it's very difficult from, from here to organize any, any venues or anything. I think it's much better if there are people who are there <coughs> closer. And, and uh, in, in, Belgium, in, in Brussels or in Belgium, or to know better places there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think it would be very difficult. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Uh, let's see. I'm uh, Teresa. Uh, yes. Uh, just a question about the goal uh, for number of women from each country. I remember when Ula talked about this as a kind of small uh, venture of one or two women from each country. Uh, have the goals changed in terms of the mobilization uh, from each country? Uh, what What is the number uh, that's being proposed? Well, I I will. Uh, Ula, do you want to answer that? I I think that we're working on that, and um, we need to make, maybe begin to have some uh, accounting so that we know we begin to build a. a a, a roster um, that that may be uh, one step that we could think about on the next uh, on the next meeting. Um, so let's see, uh, George. Yeah. I if, don't. Yeah. Excuse me, Ula. Yes, please. Yeah, if I could comment, uh, if if you read the um, the 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 um, notes. We more or less have come to that it 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 might be impossible to get people from New Zealand and from from the global south, and that was why we said that we would have webinars on that, that we That's would right. have premises that would allow uh, 
uh, webinars and that if we can get one uh, from Global South and one from, from uh, Indo-Pacific, it's very good. Yes. But for, for Europe, we should try to head for more. And, and if we could yeah. have all the women that are here now, if we could have from these countries, at least one woman, Italy said they would have many women. And, and I could assume that we from Finland would be three or four or five and, 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 and Germany maybe, which is close by. I think we have to see set up a goal that we check with every country how many persons they could get together for it. But we talked about the maximum of 100 uh, at some point. I don't know if we can reach it, but, but um, for, for Europe it's easier because the travel costs are not so big. I would suggest now, because uh, we have a tight schedule, that yeah. yes. for the e European Parliament, um, the, the ones who have contacts to the European Parliament could check if we could come with a group on Friday and meet with some MEPs. Uh, Skevi, you have, you have uh, obviously uh, connections can, there. And for, I... for the, for the, that's for the Friday. And for the Saturday and Sunday, Tina and, and maybe also you, Skevi, who has trade union connections, uh, um, and Lisa would work on the premises, and then uh, uh, the, the the Belgians would check with the De Markten uh, uh, premises what they cost. Can we get something for free from the trade unions? And what does it cost if we have one day, for instance, in De Markten or both days? Could we could we go yes. on with the the, the group, Lisa Skevitina? Yes and then the Belgians who check uh, the premises in Belgium. Is that okay? Shout no if it's not okay. Yes, I. it is okay, um, scary. Uh, it is okay to uh, start working uh, towards arranging, um, finding the room in the European Parliament. But the reason that I was asking before about the statement, the common statement, is that to use that words, in preparing a letter to three, four MPs, MEPs, sorry, MEPs, to, to ask them to help uh, for arranging a room. And I said, a room without interpretation, that would be, the, the discussion will be in English, so we don't need the interpretation. And we will try with every way not to need to, to pay for the room or for any other of the uh, necessary uh, procedures. And uh, as I said, uh, we can prepare. Uh, uh, I saw that Maria from Greece uh, sent a message that we can approach uh, Mr. Papadimoulis. And uh, uh, the Cypriot MP, maybe a Belgian, a Portuguese, the Spanish. I don't see the from Portugal, Regina Marquez, that was last week, but, at the last meeting, but we can uh, um, cooperate with that uh, towards the, the left uh, group in European Parliament to support us for the room and uh, for the procedures to access the building of the European Parliament. Okay. So that sounds like a good plan. May I just ask for clarification? You're speaking about a room in the European Parliament in Strasbourg when they meet in Strasbourg. Is that what you're no, saying? No, no, in Brussels. In Brussels, okay, sorry, just wanted to clarify for myself, okay. So <clears throat> it sounds to me that coming out of this discussion, we need to uh, proceed with what you've proposed now on uh, meeting space. And- Stephanie uh, has her hand up, sorry to interrupt Nancy. That's okay. Just in case and, it's on topic. Uh, right. Stephanie and has her Stephanie? hand up and then y'all need to move on. Yes. Please, Stephanie, would you speak? Yeah, um, just to let you know, I'm coordinating an event uh, in, solidar in solidarity with refugees in Libya that will happen the week before the week you want to be in Brussels. Um, it's a, a big event. And uh, when they ask for the support of uh, the left to have a press conference inside the uh, European Parliament, um, we have been told that it was possible, but it should have been a Thursday and not a Friday, because a Friday is not the day where the MEPs are available. Uh, so I just uh, want to let you know. Yes, good clarification. Thank you. Um, 
So anybody else to, so we should probably wrap this discussion up. And I just um, comment, Nancy. Yes, please. If it's so that they want us to be on a Thursday, yes, I think we should head for that. The ones who can come on Thursday already would be there and then have our private discussions on Friday. And then we have the other meetings on Saturday, Sunday. Do you think that would be OK? So that we would have some people meeting with the maps. Yes. I think I think that is yes. And then um, so that would be in Strasbourg, correct? No, I, in, I think in Brussels, because they are in Brussels that week. They're in Brussels that week. We right. Thursday, the seventh in Brussels for the ones who can be there to take to bring them our whatever message. Statement. Uh-huh. Um, I think it's better to allow us to make these um, um, explanations, whether it's better on Thursday or on Fridays. Yes, on Fridays, usually the maps are leaving because uh, the, the parliament is closing. But to see whether we can have a room on Thursday that the parliament usually is meeting, but not the, the official one that is, is, go, is going to be next week in Strasbourg. Allow us to arrange whether it is better to, or is possible to have the room either on Thursday or Friday. But if it is uh, on, uh, it is our decision. Um, do you do you want me to say Thursday or Friday? If they would take us on Friday, definitely Friday, because then more of us would be there. Okay. Okay. We will see then. All right. So, um, so this, 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 uh, so this process will be underway beginning now, correct? And, the, and another issue, uh, excuse me. Yes. Um, those that are going to participate to this event, to the conference in the European Parliament, we must have their um, uh, name, uh, identity card, another. Uh, personal data, um, maybe a month or uh, three weeks earlier, so they can prepare our uh, um, permission to enter right. the European Parliament. Right, okay. correct. Good, thank you. All right, so um, we should round this discussion out. Anyone have another contribution to this discussion in particular? George, do you see hands? I'm just looking at hands here. No, no hands. No, good. All right, thank you. So, um, I took a lot of notes, of course. I think, Ula, you and I will need to go over this recording and um, um, make sure that we proceed with this particular um, agenda. Uh, all right, thank you very much. Um, and Choi Shung Lee from South Korea has joined us in a car, but she can't be available here, but she is with us. Oh, good. Thank you. So let's go to um, the next discussion on street action. Uh, we have uh, 15 minutes allocated. Um, uh, Mary Kuka, uh, do you have a report here? Um, or Patricia Foldo? Yes, we had a, well, not a report. We had a meeting just today to have ideas what to do because uh, how to make it very important and uh, to be seen. And we got some ideas uh, of how, how, but it was only today. So maybe it's sure. not a report, just I ideas of what to do. How to be seen. Well, that's a start. That's important. Thank you. And so we we do we need permissions in to be on the street or in front of buildings or um, is there a process there that you need to begin to think about permissions? Um, we were actually thinking about um, <clears throat> a script that um, each woman woman uh, globally can 
um, go through and it's um, uh, concerning the same uh, type of clothing, the same actions one would do, and then filming it and putting it on our social medias, because we also discussed um, that traveling to Brussels um, is, um, is not possible for many of us and has also a, a, a footprint on, on ecology which on, and on climate, which we then in our um, dialogue discussed and debated in. And as we both are not firm with uh, how to get permissions uh, with city councils, we thought if we could come up with something that practically doesn't need any permission, uh, we love it. But we also decided that we, we would stay in Hunter and myself to um, for the brainstorm this and then come up with an essence for the next meeting. Oh, good. Thank you. Well, I like the direction the discussion is going. Um, are there some other suggestions from those on here? Any other contributions to, to what this might look like? Excuse me. Um, maybe, uh, Nancy, to get myself, maybe to make myself clear, we kind of thought we've pretty much got clear what we want to show, what we want to leave behind. But in terms of, is it just an event? We kind of thought that it should be an event that is not just restricted for this time of the Saturday in Brussels, but which can be shared uh, worldwide uh, very easily. Yes, yeah, so that, so the question of the uh, of feeding worldwide, that would require some um, technology there, some uh, uh, filming and uh, live feed. Uh, would we do that? We wouldn't just do that to Zoom. We would want to have that somehow in a, in a live feed. Um, so we would have to talk about uh, who 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 you know in Brussels or um, could could provide that assistance. Uh, yeah, I was um, also thinking about um, these channels. I, I'm not firm, and neither is Mary Kuka, on which kind of distribution channels we have. And um, I have just made arrangements before. We met um, with my son, who is a, a younger generation, and they know all about this, how to, uh, and also he works with a big broadcasting company here in Germany. So I think uh -huh. he can maybe support me in um, finding out who to talk to about, about uh -huh. recording. And, but I meet him Saturday, so I'll try to, um, yeah, then um, contribute my um, my information is the next time. Oh, good. Thank you. Well, this sounds like uh, moving forward. Uh, and um, also with Mary Kuka, she has this wonderful template and she's in with her Artists for Peace. So I think we can really get that. Yeah, there's a template. If you see Mary Kuka, the template of the White Dove for Peace. So I think that will be our... our um, um, our, I don't know. Logo. The image. Yeah. Um, image, yeah. Image. Yes. Image. Yes. Image. Yeah. 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 Good. Well, this is a this is good discussion to have. Thank you. So you're we're suggesting that this would be on the um, on the Friday. Uh, uh, actually, on the Saturday. Uh, on the Saturday. Yes, that's what you said. Thank you. Okay. Nancy, could I come in? Yes, please. Uh, first of all, I think that. This is a group where there are a lot of ideas. So if you have ideas for the street action, you could send it. Everyone, you are, you have the lists of Patricia, Natalie, Foil, and you have the 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 email of Mary Kuka. If you have good ideas from street actions before, send the ideas to to the two of them. And then uh, the twenty-four hour peace wave from the IPB. 
that goes, you can, I can send the link to you from last year. It's wonderful. It goes over the world for 24 hours. And if we have it, if we could connect it with the peace wave, I will send you, Patricia and Mary Kukka, uh, Sean Connor's uh, um, email so that you could see how it could be connected to the international peace wave. If we have the action in Brussels, what technology would be needed? So you can you can be in contact with Sean. You could maybe have a Zoom with him. Is that okay? Then we would go on on the peace wave, the international big peace wave. It was great, huge last year. Yes, I, will send I you think that. excellent idea. I think you brought that up last last uh, call too. Excellent. All right. Well, uh, let's see. So yes. I, I will leave it to. Um, uh, Mary Kuka and Patricia to follow up on that. Is that um, is that reasonable? Yeah, Nancy, just yeah. A, just a follow on to Ola's uh, uh, thing about the peace wave. Yes. Yeah, I just want to say that the platform is is there. It's going to be. It, it's already created, and uh, and it's just a matter of maybe uh, doing the live feed whatever time that is uh, it will be in 12 segments and i don't know ula if you have made arrangement to have one particular two hour plainly for for nato you know or you know we could feed a maybe five minute live feed for each hour which means that it doesn't have to be live it could be video clips of three five minutes that goes into the uh, the broadcast 24, within the 24 hours, 12 segments. So, so Sean is the contact person, however, to um, discuss this. Is that correct? Yes, definitely. Would, yes. Good, good. There okay. is a team that takes care of it, so yeah. they would know what to do. Yes, okay, good. So let's see, raised hands. Um, Cora? Cora, uh, do you? Na Nancy, that's that's me. <laughs> oh, that, yes, that's me. I'm just, very, very sorry. Yeah, I yeah, just yeah. spoke. Yeah, <laughs> sorry. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Um, George, you're helping me here. Anyone else with a hand up? Not no, right now. Nancy. Good. OK, thank you. Um, so let's go on to the next uh, topic. This is a very good discussion. We're making progress on events. Good. Um, so then we're um, so let's see. Um, do we we don't have anyone? Well, Cora, you're in the Philippines, correct? So uh, let's see. Let's see. Yeah. All right. I just saw um, uh, from from Anna Marie Gielen when she said we need to ask official permission for a street action six be weeks beforehand to Brussels City and or police, and we can discuss it with Vrede. So the Belgian movements will arrange that, obviously, and we come back to it. We have more than six weeks time still. OK? Yes, but I think on the next call, we need to have that information. Yes. Yeah, good, okay. So, um, thank you. Um, let's see. The next topic here is contacts needed in uh, Moldova, Montenegro, Croatia, Colombia. Um, let's see, who can report? I do not have contacts myself in any of those countries. Do we have any reports about contacts from those on the call here? Ula, I see you. I think that it would be good if we would be working like now. Tamara, for instance, has brought in new contacts from yes. Poland, Bulgaria, and so on. So if everybody goes through their minds what people could be connected. I got uh, uh, the Switzerland connection from, I don't even remember anymore where from. Yeah, yeah. But as soon as you recall something, I think it would be really, really uh, 
uh, important to get somebody from this um, uh, Sinjajeva uh, movement, and I haven't got any contact. I, I have tried through their homepage, but it's not, I haven't been successful. But any contacts you have, not only in these mentioned there, but everywhere, it's up to us all to, to uh, distribute the message and to invite people to come in. And if you send me their emails, I will send them all the material. Thank Good. you. So this is where I think the committee working on a statement uh, really needs to begin a draft so that we can um, we can have a statement that we can circulate to bring people in to reach out and, and bring people in. So let's go on then. Um, now let's talk about um, putting together the webinars. So this is a and uh, so this is an important compliment, very important compliment actually, so that we have um, so that we work on the webinars that bring in the uh, regional representation for for uh, areas that will not be sending um, a representative. Um, And uh, so this, this would be a webinar on representatives from the Global South and the Indo-Pacific. Do we have some on the call now that would undertake um, thinking about uh, webinars? Um, uh, Cora, is, is that something that you would be interested in? following up on and uh, Sung Hee Choi in um, South Korea. Definitely Nancy, uh, actually during the meeting of the Pacific Peace Network, we discussed this. Uh, we also shared the information coming from this meeting, uh, last, uh, the last meeting we had, and we expect some people to get in touch with Ula. Uh, but in terms of the webinar on Indo-Pacific, definitely would like to do that as well. Uh, and uh, right was there and uh, Annette uh, from Australia and other friends from uh, from New Zealand, Aotearoa, uh, were in that meeting. And we're hoping to uh, have, uh, you know, like a caucus on this to plan out when and how it's going to happen. But it will definitely be before uh, the, the, the event in Brussels. So it could be May or June, preferably, depending on what we would agree on, because we are also preparing for the speaking tour of the Pacific Island leaders that will go to, the, to Australia during the uh, Talisman Saber uh, war games that involves 33,000 Troops yeah. and some of them are actually NATO forces that will be involved. We will be ready with it during the next meeting for the specific plans for that particular webinar. Excellent. So this could be a complementary um, collaboration. And what about? Um, the global south. Um, um, Nancy, can I come in? Yes, please. I'm sorry to interrupt you. No, 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 that's fine. If Cora, uh, could Anne and Liz Remeswar be with on this group? Because it's it's they are on the list. Cora, Anne Wright and, and Liz. And would it be possible that this webinar would be during the days when we are in Brussels, so that all of the, those who are in Brussels would be connected to the webinar. Um, I, 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 I'm not sure whether we can do that simultaneously, because if you remember the dates are also the 24 hour uh, 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 24 peace hour peace wave. And I'm, I'm concerned that, uh, we cannot do those things. All of us have, you know, Annette and almost 
everybody, including Sanghi here, who is with us, will be involved in the 24-hour uh, peace wave. So we're thinking it should be before something like it's going to be more like a build up to the to the actions in Brussels. But and how I, could we connect you to the actions in Brussels that we could say that you are not physically there during the webinar du during the eight till nine, but you are there anyhow? Could uh, there be uh, some uh, way to get some greetings mm -hmm. to the meeting in Brussels? That's what I was saying uh, a while ago, Ula, that since it's also happening, the event in Brussels is happening also in, uh, on the same dates that we are in the peace wave, th that, uh, you know, uh, two things is possible, you know, like you mentioned before uh, about asking a particular uh, segment in the, within the 12 segments of the, of the peace wave, yeah. uh, and that's two hours, uh, or, uh, and uh, it doesn't have to be or also, that if we have video clips, coming from Brussels, no, it doesn't have to be live, but if it's for the time that we have, we have that time, you know, they could get into the broadcast already because the, the infrastructure, the, the platform is ready and they can uh, come in if it's live feed or it could be vi video clips that, that we could use during the, even within the 20, the, the 12 segments that we are going to have, you know, like it could be short video clips. And in that sense, we bring the NATO uh, uh, campaign uh, into the 12 segments of the, the peace wave. So I don't know how that works, but I'm sure that the people in Berlin and our, our friends at uh, World Beyond War will be able to work that out. Yes. Yeah, so, um, can I? So, Ula, can, Ula, yeah. you and Ula, you and I, um, and um, uh, who was it? Uh, um, um, Lisa, was it Lisa in Germany? Scary uh, from Cyprus. Yes. Yeah, so, we really need to have a subgroup, maybe, that works on this uh, concept and schedule. Um, this is can very. I say uh, coming from Cyprus, and uh, the, um, you, as you can understand, uh, not many women can come. I will try for five to ten women, but uh, it's too expensive to travel to to Bel uh, Bel um, Brussels. But I believe we can have in every country or our countries, um, let's say, preparatory activities for the main. Um, activities in Brussels. For example, even a webinar or a, a, other things that will be preparatory, informing the people in our countries about these uh, initiatives, these uh, activities, this mobilization. So it's one thing that uh, if we can organize something as, organi as movements and organizations in our countries, to prepare and to publicize uh, the activities in Brussels. And also, if we have uh, uh, to send the greetings and to be written either in the main, uh, um, the street activity or even in the um, conference, let's say conference in the European Parliament, if we manage to have this issue. Um, I mean, uh, greetings from movements, organizations that were not possible to to be there to be present. Yes, yes. Can I can can I can come in on Scaby's commentary yes, about please. Yes, please. Um, Mary Kuka and I have thought about um, just like a theme, saying a piece for piece, which would be a cookie in the template of the bird, and uh, we have also mm -hmm. thought about this um, uh, these actions that go in beforehand and are easy to do from every country, but that make that uh, arise or um, yeah, arise the awareness for people that this event is coming up and that peace is so important uh, and our issue. So we think uh, if we have a small action 
that is easy for each or each person every, anywhere to do, then it's uh, very nice to have. And also there are Leah and uh, Evelyn who are on board just now. I think um, that would be my second issue. If we have webinars from the Global South, that's wonderful too. Um, and to support Gaby's um, uh, idea of um, pre events, I think um, webinars that uh, arise the awareness for this event, like speakers like Leah or Evelyn could support us on distributing the idea and um, and uh, like organizations sending greetings is also like a wonderful way. Mm -hmm. to, um, mm -hmm. Like, like uh, Mary Kuka said, many ways, like many, many ideas, many actions, like not just limit ourselves to one thing, but to really uh, um, uh, um, collect many ideas, but all with the with the theme of of this bird of peace, or and and our topic of a piece of peace kind of thing. So we like puzzle. We all contribute together, and then we have the essence in Brussels. Thank you. Excellent. So, um, so we we need some. Uh, what would you say? It, it seems to me if 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 we do have this sort of representation from different countries and and uh, speakers or groups in those countries, we need some. Um, uh, we need to be able to suggest talking points. Uh, it, it seems to me so. There's not not a common message, but there's. Uh, a way to um, bring forward the issues of, uh, you know, a, a war budget that um, impacts the way the government can provide for people and and the planet versus a war economy. So, something that is really highlights the issue of um, uh, a country providing for people and the planet versus for war. Maybe I, I don't know, but it seems to me that. That could under that could underscore what is what the the particular problems of providing for people in those country each country is or might be, so that we we begin to highlight the impact. So um, we have a lot to cover for the next meeting, obviously, to really begin to pull this all together. Uh, let's see. Um, uh, we were, we've just been talking about uh, contacts and now this uh, coordination of um, between the uh, peace wave uh, in individual countries, um, et cetera. So uh, let's see what time. Oh, we have another uh, another half hour if we if we go for uh, 90 minutes. Um, do we want to have some kind of round robin here with people having more, more ideas and more thoughts to clarify to bring into this discussion now? Do you want to add a half hour on? The plan was 90 minutes, um, yes. Nancy. Yes. And right now there are six hands up and mine is one of them, but mine isn't oh. the first. Scavey's oh. hand was up, Kim, Patricia's, Ula's after me. Um, Alessandra hasn't, spoken, hand. Alessandra hasn't spoken at all. Patricia, Kim haven't spoken yet. Yes, I, haven't spoken I see. Yet. Good. Yes. Avi and Ula. Good. All right. I will try to follow your list there. Let's see. Alessandra, would you like to speak, please? Uh, just, yes. Uh, thank you. Just uh, something about the uh, contacts and the uh, participation for the meeting the webinar in Brussels. I, I wrote something to the organizer, but I don't know if you read my proposal. Because one is to um, try, if we think is good, I think is very good, is to try to have some recorded, two recorded uh, speeches, one by Russian and one by Ukrainian women. 
we, we did it in a feminist assembly for peace in Italy, and it was really very good. And it's not, uh, I mean, not difficult. If you want, I can try to get this through friends. To have the voices of uh, Ukraine and Russian women, because we are mm -hmm. talking about against the war. So to have the peace, peace uh, voices from the two countries who are uh, in war, I think it could be is something uh, useful, interest, and mm -hmm. also in at attracting the attention also. And then another uh, suggestion for the participation recorded or in prisons, uh, depends what's possible, is to have a Nobel Prize woman for peace. There are many from, the, from Europe, from the Global South and so on. So this could be also an important presence in, the, in our meeting. To have one of there are from I suggested in my note written. I suggested, for example, Shirin Ebadi from Iran, also because she could uh, talk about uh, the struggle for freedom of the women in Iran now. But this is just an example. There are uh, many from Africa, from Yemen, and so on. Well, finally, I just add the, something that is uh, uh, about the title that we have been discussing last time. I thought that uh, the, our sentence for the title is uh, good, but a little bit long. So I thought the uh, title can be NATO, no, thank you. And then to put as a subtitle, the sentence that uh, we, decided and we shipped uh, in the last meeting. Okay, so these are uh, just some suggestions for the title, okay, but also I think it's very important. I would like to hear also your opinions about the two proposal, Nobel Prize and voices from Ukrainian and Russian peace, peace women. Stop. Thank you, thank you. Um... Let's go on, um, Alessandra. Let's go to Patricia Sterpetti. Okay, bye. My, I want just to propose that one of the webinar was uh, uh, about uh, depleted uranium, and we have uh, one expert about depleted uh, this uh, matter is uh, Marilina Rachelbeka. I think she speak. Uh, she spoke last week, uh, and she she work. Uh, a lot here in uh, Serbia, but even in Sardinia. Uh, she's an expert, she's a journalist, and I think that this is, is one of the proposals. And another point, I just want to inform you that we are really disappointed as an Italian uh, pacifist because uh, Italy, Italian government, the 26th uh, April, will organize a uh, conference about the reconstruction of uh, uh, Ukraine, and they invite the Ukrainian uh, representative for to see what is the offer of the Italy for after war, uh, sure, one war that is, is necessary to win by military uh, manner. So uh, even uh, we see that uh, in the in the program uh, Women, Peace and Security, some organization of women are uh, are supporting this approach and not the negotiate the role of the women in the negotiation. And we are really really disappointed. This in Italy, I finish. Yes, thank you. Uh, let me see, um, George, were there um, Ula? Let's see, Ula and then George. Yes, to Alessandra, I would like to say um, we should really focus on NATO because we are there because of the NATO conference. And, and, and we have it in the name that we are against NATO. There are so many others who are talking about the peace issue as such. There is going to be in Vienna in June a, a conference which is exactly about the war. But if we can get a woman's perspective on NATO and the war, 
in Ukraine, then I think it would be good. But we have to stick to NATO because otherwise we are taking over a lot of, of work which others are doing. And, and I think that about the Nobel Prize, it's really good. But I think also that we should now try to, dis, to, to focus on NATO. And on, when we meet in Brussels, we can make a new list of all the things we want to do. And that would be perfect to then discuss the Nobel Prize and how it could be connected really to NATO. And then um, uh, that doesn't mean that we shouldn't talk about this, but that we should always have the focus on NATO. And then um, with Patricia, I would say, we already at the last meeting more or less said that the themes suggested were NATO as a climate killer, that's NATO. NATO that has been using uh, been using depleted uranium. NATO that has their nuclear weapons in Europe. These are the themes we should concentrate on NATO. What NATO is doing, I think so. And that NATO is eating our budgets because we have to reach this 2% GDP for NATO. So that we have this really on the focus. And uh, um, I also think that that maybe should be the, the uh, uh, seminars we have in Brussels. They should be these themes, climate killer, uh, 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 military pollutants, no, the, also the P PFAS. And then we let the, the people from uh, in the Pacific concentrate on the NATO there and, and the women from Global South, what NATO is doing in, 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 in the Global South. And they make their own. And I would suggest that we have three working groups like we already have now, the Chorus group for Indo-Pacific. Mika is not here now, but Mika could maybe be the, the, the Global South. And then we from Europe uh, have a group that discusses uh, um, the, the themes we already discussed. And I think we should remember that amongst us, we don't need to bring in expertise. Yes, if they are women, but already in this group, we have people who have a lot of experience and we could use that for our seminars because we have no money to, to invite people physically. But if we invite ourselves, then, then we can already use that basis. So um, I think we should use our special skills to, to go on. Thank you. Uh, thank you, uh, George. Okay. So my comment goes back a bit and forward a bit. Kim has her hand up, hard to see because the background kind of blends, but my comment goes back to when Cora was speaking about uh, the webinars that will be happening and that it's less possible to have a webinar happening during uh, the 7th, 8th or 9th of July because of the peace wave. Well, um, what about, and I don't want to speak for anybody or make commitments, it's just a notion that the Indo-Pacific Indo folks who are affiliated with other organizations that are here, and I'm thinking a lot about Anne Wright, who's affiliated with Wilf US, that those people, and I'm not volunteering to do this again, and I'm not trying to make someone else do work, but what if someone from Wilf US or an organization that is represented with the Indo-Pacific group does have a webinar during this week, uh, during the seven, you know, the July 7th, 8th, 9th weekend that y'all will be in Brussels. And that webinar uses the content, Cora, from the webinar y'all did the week before. It's recorded. Someone hosts that. And so, you know, they introduce it. They share the screen, share either experts, excerpts of, or most of the webinar you already did and have discussion and connect it to what's going on in Brussels. So that the content can be used to host another webinar during the same time. Uh, and that would be a good use of connecting things and making sure that people from other places that aren't in Brussels are still connecting to the event. So that might work. Um, and, 
y'all really need to move to the last um, issue on your agenda, which is contacts that are needed and side events. Side events first, contacts needed, although I did know you mentioned that earlier, um, Nancy, but the last 17 minutes of this meeting will go very quickly. So make it happen. Uh, Kim was on stack and then Stevie has her hand up again. And uh, Simi, Simri, uh, Simri. I heard Kim. Hi. 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 Yeah, um, I just wanted to speak to the whole idea of uh, beams and uh, actions because uh, I think peace is a very uh, ubiquitous theme and it's not really someone, I think Nancy said, we really have to speak to what's about NATO, you know, about what's wrong with NATO in general. And uh, the problem with NATO or one thing that I think that most people can relate to is that NATO is asking for 2% of the GDP of every one of its 31 countries. And you have to ask like 31 times, like the, the GDP for Canada, I think I'm not good with numbers. It says 1988.3 billion. So I assume that's 1.9 trillion. So if it's 2% of 1.9 trillion, anyway, long and short of it, it's, that's, a, that's a lot of money. That's a lot of money that's being put into arms sales. And somebody's benefiting from that. And there's this whole shadow world of arms dealers and arms sales. And NATO is really just pushing that shadow world to generate sales for arms all over the world for its, its NATO countries. How does this bring us peace? It, does, it doesn't bring peace to the world. And all those billions or trillions of dollars could be making the world better, forgiving debt, you know, uh, eliminating poverty, all, all these things. So I think we have to bring that home to make it real to people because when you just talk about peace, it's a very, what does it mean? You know, it's an absence. It's an absence of war. But we can mm -hmm. talk about the positive things, all the things that could be done and how we're really being robbed and how we're really being misled by NATO and how, how like I would like every one of the 31 countries, somebody to calculate exactly what the, the budget is of NATO and exactly how much money. I know Canada is delinquent. It hasn't paid its 2% of GDP. And I find the whole thing uh, just egregious. And, and it's just a, a, big, a big lie and a big deception. And we're being misled into the, it should, really should be called the Nuclear Arms Trade Organization because all they're doing is encouraging the, the dealing in nuclear arms and proliferation or arms proliferation. So mm -hmm. it's, it's a horrible, horrible organization. It's not noble. It's not, it's not, it's, it's not, how can I say honorable at all. And yeah. we should make people see that NATO is, is really a shameful and horrible and, and death bringing organization. I think we have to talk about the money because even people on the right can understand that. I, I, yes, I, I would agree. And um, of course, here in the US, we use pie charts. I guess you all know what a pie chart is that shows um, what, what the- Yum, what yum the, pie. Yum, yum pie, I know. That would, that would what, the, what, what the money could be used for. And I think if we can do something like we've been talking that would help educate uh, go beyond our group, you know, and consolidate, of course, the understanding, but also have have some simple visuals that can actually bring some other people in. Uh, I think that would be important as well. So um, let's see who else. Um, I see. Let me see. Has anybody else got their hand up? Scary. Oh, I, I wanted to add, since we are all together now, that um, the organizations and the movements from the European uh, region, can we organize um, a webinar or um, a common initiative uh, about exactly the, the need for the militarization and actually the role of European Union or how NATO is guiding European Union towards uh, militarization and uh, the need to divert the uh, uh, budget uh, uh, for the people, uh, uh, welfare, 
because we see every day that people are going into poverty more and more. So uh, all these are necessary to, uh, maybe now that we are all together, can arrange and we can see how we can cooperate to organize such a, uh, an activity, a webinar actually, but to publicize it and to, to have all of us to say a few words on this issue. Mm -hmm. No need for specialists, no need for, uh, um, uh, I don't know, I, I cannot find the right word <laughs> to explain. But yeah. uh, I think we need to do, we must do something as countries and movements from the European region. And we have a lot to do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We are, okay. they are, are paying trillions on uh, militarization. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, let's go to Alessandra. Um, I don't see other hands up, Alessandra, and then we'll go to um, Ula. Alessandra. Yes, yes, thank you, very brief. Uh, I think that the, really the main issue uh, of the seminar against uh, NATO is to explain, and already we did it with the themes that have been listed, the question of security, because in general, the main reason why people of different countries are for NATO is the idea that NATO can guarantee the security. So we have to destructure this concept and say what we mean with real security and why NATO is the opposite, not of security and of course is the opposite of uh, peace but the, the question of security i think is uh, really important and then i add also that uh, i insist a little bit about the idea to have uh, a nobel prize woman of course should be one who is uh, uh, against nato not one who is for nato but uh, uh, I think that it would be important to have uh, uh, not an expert, but uh, a, a person, a woman who is recognized uh, by the women, by the world as a light for uh, peace. So I don't think we, we, I know we have expertise and everything, but I think that it's important also for the communication, mm -hmm. internal communication mm -hmm. to have uh, someone who have a weight from the point of view of uh, peace. But of course we have uh, to check who is available and who is uh, the right person. All right, that should be uh, brought up again at our next meeting and thinking about it in between here. Uh, let's see, Ula, we're coming up on our 90 minutes. Yes. I, I still think, Alessandra, the idea is great, but that I think we have to collect some issues which we can discuss in Brussels for the networking. What are the next next uh, challenges? What shall we do next? And now more or less stick to the themes that we easily can arrange that we don't take too much water on, on our heads. Because we can, after Brussels, I hope this network won't break up. Then we have the new things we can do together. Um, but um, I would also say that um, we need for the next meeting really to see that we have um, uh, how many we can expect from each country. Can you at all have any feeling how many we could get? And we should make up for the European seminars so that we have some kind of structure already which then can be approved or disapproved and we can put onto it, but we ha should have some suggestions. And for that, I, I, I will be in contact with you. But I think it would be absolutely great that some of, of, of you who have not spoken at all would say that is, is all this project worthwhile or are we just a bunch of, of uh, uh, crazy people? <laughs> this is a challenge for you. Maria, yes, Maria. Okay, uh, you know about the safety. Could could you could you excuse me? Could you speak into your microphone more? 
No. Oh, uh, Maria, you got to. Maria, uh, un unmute yourself. Just speak. Just speak into the microphone a bit louder. Yeah. yeah. Good. Okay. Yeah. That that's better. Thank you. Uh, I believe that the in Greek, because we had the, and in Cyprus, I believe it's the same. Because we have uh, the problems about with Turkey, uh, most uh, Greek people believe that uh, NATO keeps us safe. Unfortunately, it's a great, a, a crazy idea because we are both uh, Greece and Turkey NATO countries, and that uh, did not. Uh, change anything in the tension between our two countries. It is crazy, and we should speak loud about it, I believe that. And uh, the, the other thing about the, uh, the, the Nobel lottery we need in our uh, uh, union, I believe that because I am a representative of two recipients of, uh, uh, of uh, Nobel Prize, IPP and W and ICANN, uh, we have that in our union, in our, uh, we don't have, uh, we should not have stars in our union. We should have women who want to work hard against NATO to persuade people that we are against NATO. Because you know, now, uh, I don't know how many of you know that Greece was the only country among the six that used to have nuclear weapons in Greek, and now we are afraid that we will have it. We will have a yet again a, a nuclear arsenal in Araxos bases. So uh, it is a very disturbing uh, point, and uh, we should. Uh, we should push our citizens to, to do something. Uh, we, we managed in Greece uh, to, to have uh, in ICANN, through ICANN, to get uh, some municipalities and some people to gather and uh, to ask uh, about, you know, the, uh, the treaty, to, uh, to ask our government to sign the treaty over against nuclear, uh, for nu to nuclear weapons in the uh, uh, United Nations. Uh, but uh, I believe that we as women should have more loud voice in this against NATO subject. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, so let's see, uh, Margo, I see your hands up. Uh, unmute yourself, Margo. Yep. Yes, I want. I want to. My my English is very poor. Um, I want to say that what you are doing is very very important. We have to stop the third world war. We have to fight for peace. And I, yeah, I try to help you. And what I can do for all is I have here um, an international mailing list for international women activities at Feministische Partei Die Frauen. And if you want to join, um, write to info at Feministische Partei. Yes, if you want to join, then you can, I send to you all, all things, um, all informations, what I get, uh, what what are international um, women affairs, what I get or what we get, feminist Partei. Yes, um, I have their contacts to Africa, to Korea, to Venezuela, and uh, to Chile. Uh -huh. And if you, Ulla, send me an email where you where in which you invite. I sent it to all these women who are inside this list. Uh huh. So do you do you have e each other's emails? Yes, you do. No, I have emails in this list, but I see here a lot of women um, uh, from who I don't have emails. And if they want that I have her emails and want to join the list, I. In the so right to the address I have um, put there. Yeah. 
many 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 women don't want so much emails <laughs> yes. yes but I if can you send the email addresses out for everyone who registered when i send out the recording i'm sorry to interrupt margot you have two minutes and y'all will not be done in two minutes especially if ada and ula speak and you must set the date for your next meeting Yes, so uh, Ada first and then Ula, and we will wrap up. So be very uh, concise. Thank you, yes, Ada. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, I just uh, want to suggest two issues that um, I think that, uh, in my opinion, is, it is important to discuss in our event. Um, what they expect from the values uh, summit. They want to accelerate the rearmament plans and in particular to implement the integration of the scientific technological research into a uh, war perspective. This right. is at the, the center of, of Vilnius uh, summit. Um, in the second, in a, uh, the, uh, the Vilnius summit will highlight the growing involvement of women in NATO. Yes. We have to say that we are not agree in this increased involvement. Uh, we don't recognize ourselves in this uh, NATO gender approach. As a feminist women, we have to answer, answer no, thank you. We refuse the involvement in NATO's war monitoring plans. This is a, a very, very important, I think. Well, that it, uh, I might just raise my hand. That's very important. And also, you know, they have a youth group. They have a very important growing youth group that speak up and uh, justify NATO. Uh, you can go to the NATO website and learn about that group. Also, you can join the NATO uh, list and get all of their news. And it's very interesting and, of course, distressful reading. Uh, Ula. First of all, Ingrid, I will send you uh, um, a short message which you can send out on your list to join our meeting now that, that we know the dates, to, to join our meeting and our group, the ones who want to. And um, then uh, all the women here can send Margot uh, an, a message if they want to join the feminist uh, list of information. And because when you will get Margot's uh, um, email when we send out the documents, then uh, to the NATO summit, I think that in the pro in the statement, the common statement we make, we must say that we absolutely disagree with NATO's. Uh, uh, plans to involve women in the in the uh, structures and and I'm afraid that the next next NATO uh, uh, general secretary will be a woman. They might appoint a woman. It could even be the former prime minister of Finland because she's really pro NATO, yeah. and that and she's young and beautiful, so it would be really good for them. And that's dangerous. <laughs> and that message. We have to try to get into the NATO uh, 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 headquarters in Brussels with the message, not not by force, but asking for a permission to come with our statement. Then, um, as a as a as a cheer up, Elea and me when we were in Madrid last summer, we were, wore two signs with N standing for nuclear, A standing for armed, T standing for terror, and O standing for organization. And this we should use for, because NATO is a nuclear armed terror, even a terrorist organization maybe. We have to choose between terror and terrorist, but we could use that as one slogan. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. And now we have to, Nancy, decide about the next meeting. And well, I I'm, do hope that you all will stay with us. Really, I do hope, and that we get will get growing, growing, growing. Thank you. So I don't know if we want to wake a wait a month to have our next meeting. It may be that we need a meeting in two weeks. Um, I also like to say that I will not be available from um, May twenty first to June eight. 
So um, I just need to uh, uh, let you know that. And um, so would we like to meet in two weeks or three weeks? Uh, maybe four weeks is a little long to wait to um, continue this discussion and solidify more of our agenda and dates. And uh, we, do need, we do need a statement. Um, we do need to focus on the arrangements in Brussels and um, Margot's discussion with her son, <laughs> perhaps of the technology. And we do need to get more clarification on the, uh, how we interact and join in with the peace wave. So there's quite a bit to uh, begin to really solidify. Um, so what do you think? What would be your preference? How about the week 19? April 4th is two weeks. And then the, I think the- um, You mean, mean May. May 4th. May, May yes, George. Yes, yeah. May, May 4th. Yeah. I, think, I think that's two weeks. Is that, would, would, would all of you agree to, to meet again in two weeks? Would that work? Yes. Uh, Vera. Vera, we have not heard from you. Yes, uh, I'm just looking. Yes, it works. It works. Same time. Is this a good time for everybody? Um, well, it wasn't a good time for some women, Ula said at the beginning, but we did this so that we'd have from, South Korea. For New yay. Zealand, it was a bad time. New yeah. Zealand. I don't think we can get everybody in the world at a, at a time that doesn't suck. But at least we got folks from North Korea and Philippines. That was a priority. It's not a disgusting time for them. Um, uh, what would we have to do, Ula, to theoretically get New Zealand? I don't know enough about these things. Ah, uh, you're muted, my friend. If it was mid midnight for them, um, yeah, it was it close to that for Cora and uh, folks in. South Korea too. I know it's late. yeah, yeah. So we, I, I think if it's okay for the for all the others, and okay. if uh, Nancy can get up that early, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I mean, we would, would we, it would this time be okay or should? What is the time in in the Philippines now, Cora? It, well, when we started, it's only nine o'clock in the evening, so that's really. You know, even even Korea and Japan, that's 10 o'clock. It's still normal time for us. Okay. But what time okay. is that in New Zealand? What time is that in Midnight? New Zealand? Uh, Aotearoa is 1 a.m. Oh, uh, 1 of the next day, yes. Well, um, I don't think there's anybody else from the West Coast uh, of the U.S. on the call. I can get up an hour earlier if we want to move it an hour earlier, if that would help. Uh, would that help bring Liz in, for example, from um, New Zealand, uh, Tara? Well, it's 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 even difficult to bring her in at ten o'clock in the evening. So I, I think that okay. one o'clock would be really difficult for them. So uh -huh. I think we stick okay. to this time if it's okay yeah. for everybody sure. else. Sure, sure, sure. Well, she. I, I, I think we can have them with the recordings. We can send, yes. send them the recordings. Right. She's she's reading the recordings. I know that. Okay, good. Well, um, I thank everybody for joining us and working hard on the various aspects of this plan. Um, so we will meet on May 4 um, at uh, 9 a.m. Uh, East Coast, U.S. East Coast, Eastern Time. Same time as same time as today. And, Which would uh, be 15, uh, 15 hours, uh, three o'clock in the afternoon, Central European time, like today. Yes. Thank you very much. Good. And Thank uh, you. Eva uh, Grosetska, if you are here, please uh, write me an email. <laughs> so, so, Ula, I, I think that you and I might get together. Wait, go over go over our notes and um, 
really discuss next steps concretely? Do you, how would that be? It's okay, we will do it. But if Eva is here, please let her let us he hear her. Yes, Eva. Yes, hello. Yes, I'm turning on my camera. Yes, can you can and you introduce yourself because it's great that you're here. Oh, thank you very much, Ula. Uh, I am. Uh, I live in Poland. I'm a sociologist. Uh, I used to be a member of uh, many uh, anti-war activities in the past. And now it is uh, very complicated here for us to uh, to 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 build any uh, anti-war movement. Uh, it is related with the atmosphere here and with uh, Russophobic uh, attitude built here since nineties. Um, there is some uh, um, some manifestation on May first called anti-war, but this is this initiative is related with far right, and, uh, unfortunately, uh, so many many leftists to you know re refuse to take part in it. Uh, so uh, anyway, uh, we are just individuals who oppose the war, but it's very difficult to build anything, uh, you know representative it was much easier uh, when there was a war ag against iraq uh, now it's it's absolutely there, there is a big uh, huge change you know but 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 we don't uh, we, we don't uh, lose our hope and we will try to resist anyway thank you thank you welcome thank you, um, thank you. let's see um anybody else would like to speak up before we close. Well, thank you very much, everyone, for your contributions and thoughtfulness about this project. Really respect the time and effort and all of your experiences. Thank you very much. Thank you. Goodbye. Thank you. Goodbye. Thank you. See you